breaking news dss blocks mazin nam the canoe's leg good team from seeing him in their custody today in abuja here are the news in details wonderful people of biafra lovers of freedom all over the world you are welcome to biafra unite channel slash television this very moment today's date is 27th of september 2024 and i have breaking information for every one of you listening to me right now from where you are all over the world dear friends and lovers of freedom i want you to pay very good attention to this very news because it's very very important i can assure you my people the dss of the zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria has blocked Mazinam Dekanu's legal team led by barista Aloye Jimako from seeing him in their custody today in Abuja. I will play you a video for an evidence, at least for you to see the authenticity of the news which I am bringing to your doorsteps right now. So before that, let us first of all read how this very news is being reported by one of the Zoom media platforms the daily post nigeria and according to their title they said dss blocks nam the canon's legal team from seeing him a gym you can see the date published on september 27th 2024 this is just a couple of minutes ago as at the time of recording this very report the Department of State Services, DSS, has blocked the legal team of Nam De Kano from having access to him. Disclosing this, Kano's lead counsel, Aloye Jimako, said the DSS may have cancelled all future visits of the legal team. <laughs> that can never happen. Addressing a press conference in Abuja, Ejimako said Kano may never be seen again because his solitary confinement is absolute. Okay, <laughs> we continue. Ejimako said the DSS action was in retaliation for Kano's actions during his last proceedings at the Federal High Court in Abuja. So, anyway, let me just reserve my comments. Let me just finish reading and play the video for you. Then, if I have something else to say, I will go ahead and say it. A few days ago, the pro Biafra agitator had caused an uproar when he challenged Justice Bintan Nyako to recall herself from his ongoing proceedings because he lacked confidence in her. Despite an objection from lawyers of the federal government, Justice Nyako stepped down from the case. Ejimako said, Today, in violation of subsisting court orders and the constitution, the DSS blocked the legal team of Mazinam Dekano from meeting with him at the detention facility. Why would they do that? <laughs> Why are they afraid? Why is the federal government of the zoo afraid of Mazinam Dekano? Why are they afraid? Why are they running up and down like a Kwampuru Amo? Why are they afraid of Mazinam Dekano? Because they know, number one, they have absolutely nothing with Mazinam Dekano. Mazinam Dekano has no case to answer. That is number one. What you see today going on is what we call persecution. It has absolutely nothing to do with prosecution because you cannot have prosecution on top of kidnapping offense. It's not possible. There is no prosecution on top of kidnapping offense and the extraordinary rendition that's why they are persecuting him trying to put him under unconducive atmosphere and situation for him to be able to denounce biafra nothing else they are just trying to suffer him to see if he can denounce biafra i'm telling you the truth there is nothing else and of course they know <laughs> that nothing nothing should ever happen to Mazinam Dekano because that has a rock. That has a rock. Or go Amambuzi Sonsona and Ibokaya. In fact, I'm, I don't want to talk too much, but let me make it clear. Even though after Biafra comes, after Biafra comes, the war between Biafra and Nigeria will continue. In retaliation, should anything 
happens to Mazin Namde Khan. And of course, they know, they know very well how aggressive and brutal we shall become should anything occur come as in the canon arrow they know how brutal we shall become and they, after the declaration and full restoration of biafra the war will continue in nigeria it's no longer going to be fought in biafra land as we are fighting right now for the restoration of biafra but after the restoration the war will be fought inside nigeria in retaliation of whatever that they may have done to Mazinam de Kano. So they better be very, very careful because the consequences will be very, very dire. Now, in conclusion, they said, it appears that the DSS has cancelled all future visitations to MNK as a retaliation against MNK for chasing away Justice Bita Nyako from the case and causing her embarrassment. <laughs> is it my fault? Is it the fault of Mazinam de Kano? He has his right to say, I do not have faith in you. I don't trust you. Because you have violated the law of the land. You have violated the constitution. You have even violated the orders of the Supreme Court that happens to be the highest court in the Zoological Republic. Yes. So he has the right to say, I can't stand trial in your own court because I have no faith in you. Now, what this means is that the DSS, acting on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria, has unlawfully, unlawfully isolated Mazinam de Kano from his lawyers, thus making his solitary confinement absolute. I don't know when next, if ever, it may be possible to see MNK again. It, it will definitely be possible. You will definitely see MNK. Now, let me take you straight to the official and verified ex-handle of Barista Aloe Jimako. Let us read directly from him and then I'll play the video for you just in a jiffy. Now, press release today in violation of subsisting court orders and the constitution, the DSS blocked the legal team of Mazinam de Kano from meeting with him at the detention facility. It appears that the DSS has canceled all future visitations to MNK as retaliation against MNK for chasing away Justice Bintan Nyako, their own justice, the federal government justice, who they have conditioned to dance to their own tone. Now, for chasing away Justice Bintan Nyako from the case and causing her embarrassment. What this means is that the DSS, acting on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria, has unlawfully isolated Mazinam Dekano from his lawyers thus making his solitary confinement absolute. I don't know when next, if ever, it may be possible to see MNK again. Signed, Barista Loye Jimako, ESQ, on behalf of MNK Lego team. So, now, this is from Barista Loye Jimako, right? Directly from him, official one. I want you now to watch the video. I won't say anything further. Maybe during my live broadcast between Sunday and Monday because tomorrow on Saturday is our fundraising. So there is no live broadcast. So during my live broadcast between Sunday and Monday, I will talk about this and of course, I, you know, address it as well. So no cause for alarm, no panic, no panic. Watch the video and make it go viral. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This video is being made from the premises of the DSS in Abuja. You all know who I am. My name is Aloy Jimako. I'm the special counsel to Mazin Namikano. On my right is Barista Nemeke Jofo. Behind me is Barista Patrick Agese, who came from Enugu. And to my left is Barista Mandela Umeborok. All of us, all four of us, came to the premises of DSS to meet with our client today to discuss what happened in court on 24th on the, and on the way forward on his case. But we were not allowed by the DSS to meet with our client. We came by a few minutes to 2 p.m. Until now that I'm speaking to you, which is some minutes to 5 p.m., we have not been allowed to meet with our client. So we are just about to leave and we have our suspicions. Our suspicion which is credible is that 
the DSS and the federal government of Nigeria, they are not happy that our client requested the judge handling this matter to withdraw from handling the case. If not this reason, what other reason could explain this unconstitutional behavior of preventing lawyers from meeting with their clients who is on that trial? So we need the world to know that this thing furthers the what the government of the day or the DSS has been doing that actually complicated the trial of this case that culminated in our client being frustrated and losing confidence in the judge who was handling this case and which resulted on 24th uh, September in our client requesting the judge to withdraw. So we decided to make this video to inform the world about what is happening and we are going to back it up with a press statement, another press statement letter. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.